In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and failures, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in a worthy manner. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Bless Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me, me to the to Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham at the oak of Mamre, while he was sitting by the entrance of the tent during the hottest part of the day. He looked up and there he saw three men standing near him. As soon as he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to meet them and bowed to the ground. My Lord, he said, I beg you, if I find favor with you, kindly do not pass your servant. A little water shall be brought. You shall wash your feet and lie down under the tree. Let me fetch a little bread and you shall refresh yourself before going further. That is why you have come in your servant's direction. They replied, Do as you say. Abraham hastened to the tent to find Sarah. Hurry, he said, knead three bustles of flour and make loaves. Then running to the cattle, Abraham took a fine and a tender calf and gave it to the servant, who hurried to prepare it. Then taking cream, milk, and the calf he had prepared, he laid all before them and they ate, while he remained standing near them under the tree. Where is your wife, Sarah? They asked him. She is in the tent, he replied. Then his guest said, I shall visit you again next year without fail, and your wife will then have a son. Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, well on in years, and Sarah had ceased to have her monthly periods. So Sarah laughed to herself, thinking, Now that I am past the age of childbearing, and my husband is an old man, his pleasure is come his pleasure to come my way again. By the Lord asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh and say, Am I really going to have a child now that I am old? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? At the same time, next year I shall visit you again, and Sarah will have a son. I did not laugh, Sarah said, 
lying because she was afraid. But he replied, Oh yes, you did laugh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembered his mercy. The Lord remembered his mercy. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. The Lord remembers his mercy. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. The Lord remembers his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. The Lord remembers his mercy. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. The Lord remembers his mercy. Hallelujah. Christ Jesus abolished death, and he has proclaimed life through the good news. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into Capernaum, a centurion came up and pleaded with him. Sir, he said, my servant is laying at home paralyzed and in a great pain. I will come myself and cure him, said Jesus. The centurion replied, Sir, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Just give the word, and my servant will be cured. For I am under authority myself, and have soldiers under me. And I say to one man, Go, and he goes. To another, Come here, and he comes. To my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you solemnly, nowhere in Israel have I found faith like this. And I tell you that many will come from east and west to take their places with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven, but the subjects of the kingdom will be turned out into the dark, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. And to the centurion Jesus said, Go back then, you have believed, so let this be done for you. And the servant was cured at that moment. And going into the Peter's house, Jesus found Peter's mother-in-law, in bed with fever, he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and began to wait on him. That evening they brought him many who were possessed by devils. He cast out the spirits with the word and cured all who were sick. This was to fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah. He took our sicknesses away and carried our diseases for us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us drink wine together on our knees. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord our sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly contempt, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise you and majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with the exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O China in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O China in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. May holy, therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the tea fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called as to eternal life. 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with the confidence to the Father in the words of our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this be the of the and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, save me for eternal life. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with the constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to the Mass is centered. Thanks be to God. Good morning and have a nice day.